Taurus, welcome to your reading. Patreon saw this first as well. Patreon will get an extended after you see this. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Patreon is my donation-based program. You pay what you can. So perhaps you only have a dollar this month or it's the end of the month and you don't want to pay for a whole month. So you pay a dollar, right? Or a pound. The next month you really enjoy it. So you stick with it because it renews on the first of the month. And you're like, oh, I really like this. And you pay more, right? So it's just a way to donate and get something back. Thank you, Spirit. Um, and it just works for me, okay? I do appreciate all the donations, all the little love tokens, gifts, um, everything that you guys have given to me on the like, share, comments, and subscriptions. All of my information for personal readings and other services are down below, or you can find everything about me at mindsetunicorn.me, okay? So for those of you that are new, this is an energy channel. That means that I read intuitively, and sometimes what spirit shows me is not the traditional meaning take what resonates for you if i throw out like a five of wands and i see something different than the traditional meaning and it means the traditional meaning to you take that okay not everything is going to apply because it is a general reading as well roles can be reversed this is fluid timing so this may be just a like yeah that happened to me or something that's coming in the future okay if it resonates with you it resonates with you it resonates with you all right for those of you returning thank you again i appreciate you so let's get going here okay taurus everyone's going through a birth of course right we're all heading through that portal together we're all going through a canal um but you're really going into a growth stage so listen to your gut right like they're kind of sharing with me like right like after like a female body goes through birth there's this energy for the feminine right um, that they have to ramp up their calories they have to really watch what they're eating some things will make baby gassy right if they're nursing but they're also reminding me that baby after birthing right that's one of the only senses that it has active it's like now I actually am hungry I'm not getting fed continually inside of this belly. So you all better feed me. So really listen to what your gut is telling you. Okay, because I feel like it's very intuitive right now. Your heart feels burdened right now. I think you're trying to return to a more innocent state of uh, belief. Um, but you feel very torn really stuck back in the past as you're trying to move to this new heart space i do think that the portal is going to help you break out of some of that all right so let's see what's going on today we are going to look at our divine feminine and our divine masculine and what's going on between the two this may be just the two sides of you we all have a divine feminine and a divine masculine side this could be somebody that you are dealing with okay take it as it resonates for you so mm, thank you spirit divine feminine thank you divine masculine thank you and what's going on Oof, in between thank you underlying <laughs> There's the rebirth. What are we talking about? This is a rebirth. Okay. Self-discovery. The work is on you. That's what self-discovery is all about. That's what rebirth is all about. Where the work gets put back on you. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Divine feminine. We've got Pisces in reverse. Crossed by the opposition of confrontation. For some of you feminines, you could be dealing with two masculine energies. That's not going to be for everyone. But um, you might not even realize what they're showing me here is that this is an end of a cycle that's going to happen. But you may not have realized until you've hit the end of this cycle that your masculine energy has been in opposition to somebody else's masculine energy. 
okay? Again, if that is not the case, and it's just as it's showing up, you may have two masculine energies trying to kind of duel for your attention. The masculine energy here, Aquarius, wants to offer love, wants to fill your cup and offer you wishes. It's in a very divine energy of the 11, right? And what I love is that it is showing up with the fates pouring it. We have three hands pouring this, right? So there is a sense that the fates are guiding the masculine energy here. What's going on between is that you really don't want to experience <laughs> this rebirth because we've got ninth house, which is the house of rebirth. It is the house of Sagittarius and experiencing this energy of exploration. Um, that is the 11 in reverse. And we've got the Gemini of the cross pollination. And so I do feel that um, there is an energy here where Again, I feel like if you are the divine feminine, the heart space it doesn't mean female, it just means divine feminine. That, again, you're not even really aware of how big this rebirth is for you because you've got all this other stuff going on kind of helping and supporting you, right? So let's see what else is going on here. Tell me here about the Divine Feminine. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, okay. Take care of yourself. Do some self-care. Uh, get into your routines. Make sure that you're doing the things that make you feel healthier, but not going to extremes, right? When we go to extremes, um, we deplete ourselves. So I feel like it's just about being in healthy habits, healthy mindsets, okay? Yeah, because you might be feeling a, a downshift and it's because you're about to hit this major breakthrough. Some of you may um, be being, a, they're showing me Regulus right now, which is a star, I believe, in Leo. And you may be somehow connecting to that. It may be an important placement in your natal chart. But I am feeling that connection right now I wish I could remember what I channeled about Regulus in my books because I think several of my books have Regulus in it um, yeah allowing yourself to relax you don't have to go all out right maybe Instead of doing um, a 30 minute HIIT workout, you just do a 10 minute HIIT workout and casually walk, take a hike, go out in nature, right? Um, allow yourself, because that's how you're gonna get the answers to all of this, is by allowing yourself to take that time for healthy habits that are healthy, okay? Just remember that when we overexert ourselves, those of us, right, that work with people that are moving into athletic energies, um, like I have for a while, um, because that is part of the subtle body movements does impact our energy flow, okay? Which I think is why spirit took me down the rabbit hole of fitness before bringing me to the rabbit hole of this. Um, it does deplete like your iron, it does deplete your antioxidants. Um, you've got to make sure you're getting all of those nutrients, that you're taking care of yourself, okay? Divine masculine, right? Okay? It could just be that your higher self is loving on you because you are in some sort of a crisis here, okay? Feeling like your needs are not being met. Okay? I saw this in another masculine energy. It may have been for Aries, okay? 
So you may have Aries in your chart. You may be dealing with an Aries. Um, but you're being guided to take action towards your intuition in terms of this crisis, right? Like they're saying to me, let it play out. Okay, don't try to impact it. Yeah, just kind of <laughs> pretend like you're okay with it. I know that this is going to feel very to you to uh, let things unfold naturally because you tend to want to be the controller, be the one at the head of the class. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you're not designing your own life. I think that's why they're really saying stay in tune with your intuition because you are creating your own reality by just believing that, yeah, this is going to flow on by, okay, not even impacting me. Between the two here, okay, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, Someone's trying too hard to have some sort of inspirational light bulb right now, right? Like, oh, I'm going to have the inspiration. I'm going to have this thought come to me. And it's just going to be magic. And everything will just blow up in the right way, right? It needs a little more exploration, okay? That's where the resistance is in this, right? Go back to the basic perspective of this where um, you can see things from where you're at, from where you're going. Look at it base level, right? It reminds me, so a friend of mine, Kenny, wrote a book called Scoundrels in Iraq. And he's definitely a divine masculine that has awakened and found their divine feminine, and I just adore that. But he's funny, he started doing YouTube uh, at my inkling and, and Instagram and I said you know what because one of the chapters in his book is about um, so I stole a bulldozer true story and um, I said you should reenact that with little army men so he freaking did he did a video and he went to the playground and he reenacted it and it actually was very fun for him and it let his inner child that didn't get a lot of time in Iraq to be free have some fun at the expense of the experience that he went through. So some of you, your inner child could be asking to be connected, right? Because this new direction, I think, is being overthought because there's a little bit of fear behind it. And I don't think there's, again, I don't think there's a reason to be afraid here, okay? Divine Feminine, thank you. Yeah, Queen of Cups, all right? You are wishing for love, and you're kind of waiting for it, waiting for it to manifest, waiting for it to happen. Um, again, I feel like it's kind of happening around you with the opposition, and you're just not fully aware of um, how headstrong the masculine energies are, either within you and outside of you, or just completely outside of you. But you are fully in this beautiful, new birthed, like loving energy. But I think you're dealing with a, a king of wands here, okay? Um, one of these things is not like the other. Somebody or something that you are dealing with is very determined, but it's out of the aspect of, I wanna catch this fish, okay? I wanna win this game. And so I think that's why by taking care of yourself, you'll see what is meant for you and what's not. Divine Masculine, oof. King of Swords in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse interesting okay i feel like there's a divine masculine here that realizes that you can't go at this through the thought process 
Now this could be because somebody had a prior split and it's still, somehow there's still mind fuckery in, revolve, in involving this, right? Like I can almost see if this is you that was in a past relationship, like you would show up with flowers and they would be like, I don't like that kind of flowers. And they'd go buy their own flowers. Or you broke up and you were a very romantic energy and you did buy flowers and do things for them. And now they're out there on social media doing like all Miley Cyrus, like I can buy myself flowers. And you're like, what? Like you never had to do that. Like I always did that for you. And that could be part of why you're kind of like, yeah, I'm happy, but this is a little bit of an emotional crisis because you might feel like, right, like this is, this is kind of bullshit, okay? In between, we've got the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Somebody is getting ready to put it all out on the table here, okay? And be like, listen, I know what I want. They're showing me 11, 11, 3, 3. Okay, that may mean something to someone. Um, other than they're great angel numbers. But I do feel like the key to this, somebody feels like, is I've got to speak my heart. All right. And I think that they're preparing for that. Divine Feminine, okay? You're feeling very flirty. Again, uh, maybe you're dating a few people. But if you've been online dating, Spirit's asking you to retreat from that, right? Step back from that for a minute. Disconnect from that. Kind of get clear on what it is that you want. Because you do have a soulmate in your mix. And um, you may also have someone who is love bombing, but might be a little untrustworthy as well. Divine Masculine. Okay. Again, because of what you've been through in the past, you're having a really hard time keeping your mind open. Right? About all of this. You are just getting to know someone here. And so, um, again, you may have just changed jobs or careers, or if you split, um, your finances have changed. Um, you're, you, I feel like you're, that might be part of your crisis here. Okay. But this person that you're thinking of here, they're very different from you. And this could be different cultures, different ages, different religions, right? Um, there's just something different. You can't pinpoint it. But um, spiritually, they're calling to you. Yeah. I don't think that the conversation has happened at all here because there's two people wearing masks. But again, they're showing me a third one grabbing for someone's ass here. So I do think a Divine Feminine has two masculines after them. Okay. And that could likely be even a man that has two masculine women chasing after you. Okay. But you do have a soulmate here that is coming into your life. For some of you, this is a return from the past. But it could just be that it feels so connective because of the energetic connection. Spirit says to trust the one that makes you feel like this situation I'm going to grow old with. This situation is the one really for me. I feel good here. I feel safe here. I feel loved here. I feel seen here. That's the one for you, right? Romantic feelings don't always show us that. I feel like somebody's old, like, Jewish grandmother, Brooklyn grandmother's coming through here. And they're just like, you know, 
those romantic feelings, they just don't always show up. <laughs> Horrible accent, but I can hear it specifically in my head. Okay. So some advice here. Yeah, follow your heart. Nine of Cups, right? You've manifested this love. Again, three of Pentacles. There could be two in here to make a choice from that um, you know which one lights you up. In the Empress's energy, you know what you've manifested. The masculine is coming in fast, right? On one hand. On the other hand, we have an Emperor coming in slow, right? You might be wanting something that's going to grow quickly, and this Emperor might not want that, but that might be the one that you are seeking because maybe they're pulled back. Maybe that you're right, you're like, I'm the Empress, you're the Emperor, this is the one that I want. Okay, Mother of Pentacles. Again, take care of yourself here, Spirit's just saying, nurture yourself, nurture your inner child. There are lessons to be learned here, Five of Wands, Daughter of Swords. On the other side of this, I think you're going to get some big aha moments about what the cycle was that was closing out. Okay. Scorpio energy to the first house. Again, there's something ending, something beginning here. Um, could just be Scorpio and Aries energy. Um, but somebody doesn't want to heal Chiron in reverse or doesn't realize that they're healing. Okay. We do have that rebirth energy here with Jupiter. Thank you, Spirit. And Saturn. Um, again, this ending, I feel like, is being overthought. Because it's bringing in a lot of expansion. They want me to look in the middle here. Yeah, and change. Uranus always overcomes Saturn. And as I'm doing this reading, um, we do have Dark Moon Lilith square Uranus. And um, that's like a huge change, but it comes through with a little bit of a bitchy undertone, okay? I joke because my Dark Moon Lilith is a double Gemini. So if it isn't bad enough having all four elements in my chart very equally in the base chart, I also have my Midheaven is Leo, which means that I'm going to really war <laughs> if my world ain't right. And then my Dark Moon Lilith is a double Gemini. And so my bitchiness may go back and forth within. Okay. Let's see what the universe wants to share here. Okay. Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Yeah. This Knight of Pentacles is going, this person, Semper, is going slow because they were betrayed in the past. Okay. And they want to be vigilant. They want to make sure that everything is as it seems, right? Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Judgment, Three of Pentacles. Again, I think that somebody here, it feels like the Divine Feminine, is trying to work on themselves, forgive themselves. And that's opening up this, this second chance at love. But there's a recognition that there are a lot of cooks in this kitchen. And that's what I think you are working on figuring out. So before Oliver starts barking at his sister, let's finish this off. Okay. Yep. Somebody's going through a storm here. We've got hail coming through. Right? You're being weathered. And, yeah, okay, we've got the All Rune, the World card. So everything will tie up nicely. Don't worry about that. Let's close it off with an Oracle. Okay. We've got here, okay, the Aligned Heart in reverse because somebody is expelling Citronella, right? What do we do when we have a pest in the mix? We try to get rid of them. Somebody's not in their heart space. Keep that in mind. 
I think it'll happen on the other side of all of this. All right, so I love you. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.